Let's find the area bounded by y equals x, y equals negative x, and y equals 3x minus 4. Here we've got three functions, three straight lines bounding an area. But really it's going to look a lot like the other ones we've done. We just have to figure out how to set up the problem. It's a little bit tricky the first time you see it, but once you see it, it's not that complicated. So the area we're looking for is this area right in the middle here. When we say the area bounded by the three, we mean an enclosed area that has these three functions surrounding it. So that's the area there. And as we think about this, we're looking for an integral of an upper function minus a lower function. But what makes this tricky is that the functions switch halfway through. Let me point out what I mean. If we divide this into vertical rectangles, for the first part of the problem, the upper function will be that red line, which is y equals x. And the lower function will be that blue line, which is y equals negative x. But then later on, after we pass the intersection of those two lower lines, then the upper function will still be y equals x, but the lower function will be this green one, which is y equals 3x minus 4. So it really depends on where we are in the problem as to which function is the upper function and which one is the lower one. So what we're going to do is similar to what we've done before, we're going to divide this into two problems. We'll find this point where those green and blue lines intersect. In other words, where the lower function switches from one to the other. And we'll divide it into two problems. So we'll find those two areas separately. Before we do that, I'd like to, you to think at least briefly about how you would do this if you were going to set up your rectangles horizontally. And I'll mostly leave that to you to figure out, but just think about the fact that first of all you'd need to rewrite these functions as x equals functions of y, which would all be pretty straightforward. And then you'll need to think about where to split this problem up and how it would split up. Okay, we're moving on with this one. We need to find this value of x here where that intersection occurs. So we're looking for where these two lines cross. So we'll just set that up in an equation where we'll set 3x minus 4 equals negative x. Now to solve that we can add x to both sides and we can add 4 to both sides. So we get x equals 1. So when we set up this integral, the first starting point of the first area will be when x equals 0. And you could solve for that by setting y equals x and y equals negative x equal to each other, but you could also just observe that those cross when x equals 0. So we'll have an integral from 0 to 1. And on that first section, again y equals x is the upper function and y equals negative x is the lower function. So that's the first area. Then the second area will pick up there and we'll go on to wherever the other two lines cross, the green and the red, y equals x and y equals 3x minus 4. So we have to do that algebra problem as well, where we set 3x minus 4 equal to positive x and solve it the same way. Subtract x from both sides, add 4 to both sides, and we get x equals 2. So there's our second upper limit of integration. And in that case, the upper function is still x, but the lower function is the 3x minus 4. So again, that's the hard part, setting this up. And if you need to, you can go back and look at that again, or pause here and think about making sure that you understand all of the pieces here and how that setup works. But once you get there, the actual integration is pretty easy. We can simplify this first one to be the integral of 2x, and the other one would be negative 2x plus 4. And then you can integrate. Here you get x squared from 0 to 1. Here you get negative x squared plus 4x from 1 to 2. And then if you carry these out, you should get a final answer of 2 for that total area enclosed by the three straight lines.